Hello, it's James Payne from Cool Banker Day and Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of Myro Ranch in New Braunfels, Texas, just off 46. And the reason I'm out here is because, well, they've just moved all their model homes from the front part of the community to the back part of the community. And Miss Malia from Perry Homes asked me to come do a video tour for them, show you how to get from the front of the community to the back. So yeah, let's go for a ride. A real ride. So you have an idea of where Myro Ranch is. Uh, beautiful community this is 46 you are about a nine minute drive from here to everything in the Bronfels area the downtown area HEB and all that good stuff but the community just down the road here is Vintage Oaks and if you've been watching my channel you know I absolutely love Vintage Oaks but their Grove section has been sold out for quite a while but Myer Ranch is a really nice community they just open up a new section of like 50 foot to 65 foot lots back there and some of my favorite builders are back here now too so of course i'm going to promote this area a little bit more than i used to all right let's get on the biking ride all right we are off and running i really do love the location of this community for the same reason i love the location of vintage oaks which is the next community over unfortunately uh the new construction part of Vintage Oaks has sold out so I love selling homes at the Grove um, but this is the next best thing in this area which is Myra Ranch um, and they've got some new builders in here that I really like they're definitely in my top tier of builders that includes builders like Chessmar, Highland, Perry's now here and finally David Weekly is in this uh, area as well um, there's one of Chessmar's model homes up front, but uh, a lot of these homes you're seeing uh, in this front section, some of them were built by Jewel, but they're no longer in this community. But right up front of this community is a new uh, community center they just opened up about a year ago, I guess. Um, and it kind of modeled off after Green Hall, which if you haven't been to Green Hall in the New Braunfels area, it's one of my favorite places on the planet to be. I really love uh, that community. But they got a fire pit section. Uh, it's like a little community thing. They got a small kitchen in there and a playground place. So uh, there is a new pool that they just opened up and that's gonna be at the end of this video. I'll end up at the pool section. But I do like the fact they got a park, multiple uh, barbecue uh, grills set up. So it's really, really nice they've got this in the community. Um, one thing I do need to let you know about this community is there is a uh, mud tax in it, a multiple utility district tax, um, which does bump the uh, your tax rate up from a lot of builders in this community you're looking at right around two percent but now with the mud tax this is 2.63 that has gone down some it used to be uh, 2.75 which I'm like god that is absolutely insane um, but because they do not have a mud tax uh, because they do have a mud tax Unlike Vintage Oaks, there is no septic in this community. So even at the Grove section of Vintage Oaks, they had a little hybrid septic system in it. This is all gonna be basically your city water, city electricity, all that stuff is all in it. But the developer had to add a mud tax in to kind of pay for in advance getting those utilities there. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we're still riding because we haven't gotten back to the new model homes just yet. So uh, that's why uh, the uh, Perry Home Sales Rep wanted me to come out here because these Perry new model homes are all in the very back of this community. So you just got to keep on riding and uh, you'll eventually see where there, see the signs there say new models. And what you see now is the new pool that just opened up that's where we're going to end up our video at today uh but we're yeah we're just going to keep on moving um things to do in this area you're about nine minutes from the really nice heb um garcia's mexican food restaurant uh oh gosh oh what is it lone star burgers there's a whole bunch of stuff just nine minutes from here and uh that's also close to getting to uh, the 337 loop so all your urban sprawl stuff that you're looking for is less than 10 minutes from this community 
great school systems uh, this section does go to Smith and Valley High School look up reviews on those uh, schools because uh, yeah the Comel ISD and it's all great all right we're finally back to the model homes and they're all getting built or just opened up right now the home you see directly in front of me is a Brightland home model it's not quite finished yet that used to be Guillen homes um, but yeah we've got two home model homes for Chessmar they're both opened up um, this one we're seeing here now is called the Brook but it's the same thing as the Brody um, there's the Davis I haven't videoed that Davis yet uh, Highland homes I just did a video tour on the Highland homes David weekly still under construction and the Perry model home there just opened up as well but as you can see as we look around there's a lot of oh and we got Scott Felder here their model home still in the process uh, but yeah if you're looking for a little bit of a longer term community don't plan to build right now of course you got Veramindi they're gonna be building out forever uh, but this is gonna be building out for a while now too you can see all this opportunity so if you're still looking to build from dirt and you like New Braunfels, this home, this community is definitely should be in the running. You still got, uh, oh, another thing I like about these newer sections, uh, Meyer Ranch was notorious for having smaller lots. Now several of these builders have larger lots. We're talking uh, 60 foot lots or even 65 foot lots. And I'm, I always, I always like to promote what I like and my rule of thumb if the lot is less than 55 feet i'm just not a big fan of it but there has been several communities uh definitely gonna be a little bit different price point because land has gotten so expensive but they're building in like 45 foot lots and i'm like good god that's just a really skinny lot and when i say lot sizes i mean the width of the lot so yeah these these can be some nice lots like man that'd be a nice one to build on right there pardon the cough but yeah that'd be a nice uh, spot I don't know which develop which builder owns these lots but that's a sweet one but uh, yeah it's neat that having uh, new construction with availability in the New Braunfels area and there's a reason I do a lot of videos in New Braunfels because I've, I've lived all over well y'all know I'm prior military I've lived all over the country and all over the world and I, New Braunfels is definitely one of my favorite places because they have such a beautiful downtown area. The people are great. Uh, right close by there is a really neat little winery, horse riding stables. They have horse riding classes there. Um, but having just being able to go down the street, go to Green Hall and, and uh, well Green Texas as a whole. Eat at the Grist Mill, Green River Grill. Um, Husachi House or Wusachi House. Let me get that saying right. Um, but there's great restaurants. I lo love the people here. Yes, there has been a big population boom in the uh, last couple years, uh, and everyone loves New Braunfels. Typically, when people reach out to me, they're trying to decide which uh, of the big three Texas Hill Country communities they want to be in. Either it's going to be Bernie. Um, Bandera, not Bandera, uh, Bolverde, or uh, New Braunfels, and it's about 75% of people are reaching out, uh, I've settled on New Braunfels. Alright, we've got some homes that are already built, it looks like some of these are by Brightland, and some by Chessmar. Uh, Brightland, I have them ranked as a mid-level builder, and Chessmar, Highland, Perry, David Weekly, they're all in my top tier builders, but all these communities um, will have a little more budget friendly builder. And in this community, it's Brightland. And there's a Brightland home. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just they are going to be just a little bit different level than, uh, say, the Chessmar. And I, I still have Perry ranked as my top builder in this community, but man, David Weekly and Chessmar both build phenomenal homes as well. You're not going to have any entry-level builders in here. There is no uh, Dr. Horton, Lennar, or KB in this community. So, uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and take you on out to the new pool. Um, it's not like Vintage Oaks. Uh, Vintage Oaks, oh my gosh, their amenities are the best. Um, 
I absolutely love Vintage Oaks amenities. Uh, but, and if you're still wanting to be in Vintage Oaks, there are still resale lots, I mean, resale homes that come available. It's just, if you're wanting to build a production home, they have the Grove section in Vintage Oaks, but that has all been sold out. Well, Scott Felder, I think they still have some production home sites to build on. But uh, yeah, Monticello and Perry have sold out. But they have been, those great builders have now moved over to Meyer Ranch. Just the next community over, like I said before, with larger lots. The only downside is, yes, there is that mud tax. Uh, so your tax rate's gonna be a little bit higher but you don't have to worry about doing septic at all. Um, and if you're military and 100% disabled, um, from what I'm learning now is because there's a mud tax, it stacks on top of regular tax. If you you look, you could be still paying some tax on it, just the mud tax portion of it, which would be like half a percent ish or something so it's not a deal breaker for 100 percent disabled vet for in the state of texas you don't pay any state taxes um you might be paying a little bit of mud tax to the community uh but here's the amenity center called the haas as in the house in germany and if you're not familiar with the area this is a very german influenced area the germans are the people that originally settled new Braunfels. And that's why we have things like Worst Fest, which you just had last month, and it's absolute blast. And uh, got some decent German restaurants as well. Um, Faust is, uh, no, the Freiheit is one of my favorite places. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of nice restaurants right here. All right, let's go ahead and switch from the GoPro on my helmet to uh, my selfie stick and give you a little closer look at this uh, pool area. All right, we're now off my beautiful Tiger 900 GT Pro, and we're at the swimming pool area. This is the brand or fairly new addition to this community. And tell it's really quite quiet out here. And uh, let's go and walk up, see what I can see from the uh, gate here. I don't have any uh, codes to it because I don't live in this community, but I can give you an idea of what the pool looks like. There it is. Yeah, it's a pool. And kind of give you a quick walk around of uh, what else is out here. Once again, just like up front part of this community, there's a nice little playground area and uh, hangout spot. Perfect location if you're doing like a kiddo's birthday party. Uh, that's a very kid friendly thing. I just noticed they got a little putting stuff back there in the corner. But great little hangout space. Uh, let me show you this first, then I'll show you a little bit more. Um, they do have a small gym space in here, which let me see if I can put the camera up and it can show you a little better uh, without all the glare. But yeah, you got some uh, elliptical equipment, some uh, workout bands, and I know they've got a little, uh, and some free weights in there too, if you can see that through the reflection. I haven't found out what this big cleared out space here is going to be for yet, but it does look like something new would be coming in there. And they even got a little kid splash pad area and a spot for the adults to watch your kids just kind of, your little young'uns, splash around and get wet during the summertime. It's kind of neat. All right. I know this video is kind of long, so if you've been still on here, I definitely appreciate you watching. I just want to give you all the information about certain communities so they make the best decisions for you and your family. But yeah, there's more parts of Meyer Ranch off in the distance there. Really cool, big fire pit section. As I'm filming this, it is early December 2023. As you can tell, it is absolutely beautiful here in Texas with some gorgeous oak trees. And at night, it is the perfect fire pit weather. So yeah, it'd be kind of cool to have your kids come beat each other up on the playground while the adults are sitting on a, on these benches uh, watching a fire pit, drinking adult beverages. Some artificial turf. And then like I mentioned before, a little putting green section for uh, if you want to just smack the ball around a little bit. 
So really neat space. Oh, it's a little golf cart parking back here. That's kind of cool. So yeah, sail this uh, sidewalk is just wide enough to have your golf cart to come up through here. Pretty cool. All right, I hope you learned a little bit more about the community of Meyer Ranch in New Braunfels, Texas. And uh, it's a wonderful community right next to Vintage Oaks. So many things to do in this area. But now after watching this video, you know how to get to the model homes. So just keep going to the back and you'll eventually see the signs. We do have some great builders here now and I really do like them a lot. David Weekly, Chessmar, Perry, Highland Homes. Those are also my favorite builders out there and all in this community. So. If you did like this video, of course, I want you to hit that like button. But most importantly, if you know anybody considering moving to the beautiful Texas Hill Country, please share this video with them. I am a local real estate agent that helps people relocate to this uh, part of Texas, and I'll be happy to help them. Well, if they've already got another realtor, please stay with your realtor. But if you don't have a realtor you're working with the area, I'll be happy to help. All right, take care now. Bye.